ladies and gents, I think I'm going to do something that, if you remember, probably not when I first started my channel, this is why I always wanted to do for the Love and Hip Hop videos. I think this is what I'm going to have to do in order for me to even care about continuing on with this because, ugh, ugh. I mean, they don't get much views anyway, but I know people are watching, so that's the only reason why I do them. Trust me. Um, please go and support my other channel, Romy Whispers ASMR, and link below, link above. I'll have a new video out tomorrow. It will be a food video. Oh, yes. <sighs> One of my favorite meals right now. You'll see. Click. It's Japanese. We're going to have some fun. Anyway, I think I'll just do my like top 10 moments for this episode. Because if I don't do it like that, then this video ain't getting none. So let's get to it. We can start off in the beginning with Shay. First off, Shay is really... Shay, Shay looks good. Shay is one of those women that look good and they look better with less. But she always likes doing more. She always likes doing more. Like that, she didn't need that wig. Her body is good. She's pretty. She just does too much. That's all. That's all. She talks to Amada. Prince is there as well because Shay doesn't like JoJo, but Amada says that she's friends with JoJo, so she can't be friends with Shay. And tells, I'm thinking, oh Amada, I love you. I really do. You look great. And you know, I love your energy. You're around the similar. The whole point is, why is it? That I just feel like there's a certain level of immaturity over there. Just a certain level. And I, it seems like she can't shake it right now. So then we move on to Spectacular and B Baby Boy Blue. Something like that. Something like that. They're both there. They're both getting dressed. Uh, it looks like Pleasure P wants to back out of the tour. Which I'm thinking... Now the tour of the album, I'm thinking, sir, 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 sir. After that, we see, um, we see Gun Gunplay, and as well as Trick Daddy, they're there and they're doing the podcast, and he's talking about you know prison reform. And also Colin Kaepernick taking the knee. He doesn't understand why is it that, uh, you know, with people who are incarcerated. I think they changed the bill recently in Florida um, to where as long as you meet a certain requirement, you can vote and you're an ex-con, something like that. So I thought that that was cool. But apparently they're also going to, uh, Trick Daddy wants to do some he he's willing to work with chaotic but he's going to put stipulations on it and those stipulations are he's going to make it a competition uh do i talk about amada no we'll talk about we'll talk about jojo and 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 bobby 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 does not like Amada. He's listening to Jojo complain uh, because Jojo feels hurt that Amada went after her in social media, even though this is this is right up all of their lanes. This is right up all of their lanes. And Jojo, we saw the video of you cackling at what Bobby was saying about Amada. We saw that. The whole premise of Chaotic doing the fishing situation for lobster with Young Hollywood is so that he could go and potentially work with Trick Daddy. I like the fact that Chaotic does bring up the fact that he took Joy out on a date. I respect that. And I feel like Trick Daddy and Gunplay both respected that. They probably look at him like, wow, you're really just going to say that. But on the other hand, it's, be it's better to come from the source. To come from the source. So, but Trick Daddy changes the rules. Now they, they need a cooking competition. Okay, okay. We're going to extend the season. We got... This is supposed to be 18 episodes. 18 episodes of this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Amada has her performance. She looks good. Her performance... Her performance looks good. Most importantly, the songs sound good. 
Liz looks different. And I don't know why. But uh, we see Liz is with Prince. And, you know, they have a common enemy, Bobby. Just feel like Bo Liz actually feels like uh, Bobby likes Prince. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know about all of that. But when we have dun 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 Amada versus Jojo or it's supposed to be Amada versus Jojo Amada just says her piece she doesn't like the fact that Jojo was cackling when Bobby went and did that stunt and Jojo felt like she always supports Amada which is true which is why Amada was upset when you were cackling when you know her nemesis was cackling at her and at least from that video it didn't look like you defend her and you didn't say anything else so I'm guessing you didn't that's when Bobby, wearing an afro, trying to attempt to clown Amada, it didn't work. Uh, and he goes, and he, he's loud, and he's extra like he always is. So then Liz joins in, Amada's just laughing at this, so then he goes and throws the wig. I'm thinking, so out of all the times for Prince to go off, or at least move quickly, you didn't move quickly to you know block that wig i know it was just a wig i know it was a joke i know you didn't take it seriously because it's bobby but i don't care i don't like that energy i didn't like that energy i like that bobby like bobby you're doing too much now so oh i don't i don't want to talk about veronica vega because <laughs> each time it's going to be the same thing there's a scene with veronica vega young hollywood and chaotic he talks again about the undercover kind of cops following him we got it now uh we knew that um again spectacular and blue they're concerned they're concerned about the album so there's not much there wow there really wasn't much here michelle peach michelle gunplay and trip they're gonna do this food truck thing and uh, so when the food truck is actually there, Amada and Bobby have a conversation. Now we're getting to the main crux. The food did look good. Everyone was the every. Why was everyone there? Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot that JoJo was trying to say that. You know, she went to the spiritual doctor and they said that. Uh, um, you know, a close friend put roots on her, and Bobby said it was Amada. So then at this, uh, you know, BBQ contest cookout prince talks to bobby it goes nowhere because bobby doesn't like um what's her name doesn't like prince's girlfriend liz and we see that vega she was still upset at the fact that jojo went and i guess drenched her the first time so she returned the favor and so then they have some banter back and forth uh jojo calls her racist and that's when vega said Oh, yeah, come at me, my Nick. I said, oh, so, oh, my gosh. End scene. Please support my other videos. Oh, gosh. This was a struggle. Ah, this was a struggle.